This is a tutorial for calculating bivariate correlation and simple regression in SPSS for PSY251. In the first part of this tutorial, you will learn one of the ways to calculate a correlation in SPSS. By the end, you should be able to describe the relationship between your X and your Y variable and interpret the output for the hypothesis test of the correlation coefficient R. In the second part of the tutorial, you will learn to calculate a simple linear regression in SPSS. By the end, you should be able to explain how regression is related to correlation and be able to report both the standardized and unstandardized regression equations using the output. The first thing we want to do is get the data into the data editor. So I'll go to my Word document, and I will highlight all of my data, right-click, choose Copy, go back, and click into the data editor, right-click again, and choose Paste. Now I'll go into my variable view and label both of my variables. Variable 1 will be hours. I'm going to give it the label hours studied. I'm also going to make sure that I change the measure on both of my variables to scale. Variable 2 is exam score, and the label is also exam score. The reason they need to be scale um, is because you can only correlate continuous variables, so they can't be nominal or ordinal. And then just make sure all your data is there. To conduct this study, we'll go to Analyze. Correlate bivariate, and we'll simply move both of the variables over into the variables box. Then just make sure flag significant correlations is checked and click OK. This table represents the results of our correlation test. As you can see, there is a strong positive correlation between our studying and exam. What this means to someone who is not familiar with statistics is that as the number of our studying increases, so do exam scores. The correlation test also runs a t-test on R to see if it's significant or not. And in this case, it is at P less than 0.01. Since SPSS is showing me a p-value for this test that equals zero, I would say that the actual probability of finding this size correlation if the null hypothesis were true is p less than 0 To calculate the simple regression, I am going to use the same data set. And to do this, I'm going to go to Analyze, Regression, and Linear. I'm going to choose our studying as the independent or predictor variable. And exam scores will be the dependent or criterion variable. And that's it. Move that over and then click OK. For the results of the regression, the first important table is the model summary. This is where we find R, which is our effect size, and R squared, the proportion of variance in exam scores that can be predicted from our spent studying. Notice that R here and the R from the correlation are the same. Regression effect size will always equal the correlation coefficient when there are only two variables. The next important table is the coefficient table. The other similarity to the correlation is with the unstandardized correlation coefficient beta. When there are only two variables, beta will equal R, and the significance test on beta will yield the same results as the significance test on R when I ran the correlation. 
Finally, I can use this output to help me write the unstandardized and standardized regression equations for the data set.